One more demo. Uh, now I'm going to switch over to favorites, and I'm going to move this USB cable out of the way. Hopefully, I keep my connectivity. And I want to show you an example of the performance benefit that some uh, HTML5 sites are going to get um, with uh, the hardware acceleration that's built in. So let me bring some friends on stage here alongside our Windows phone. Um, I've got an iPhone 4 and uh, Nexus S and uh, Windows Phone 7 running IE9. Remember, same IE9 core browsing engine with hardware acceleration onto the phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to load an HTML5 speed reading demo on all three of the phones. So let me try to get these ready. And I'm going to do my best to launch them basically simultaneously. Um, in fact, I'm just going to give the iPhone a little head start here, because I have only two fingers. So we'll start the HTML5 speed reading there. And now I'm going to start these two at the same time. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, go. Um, and let's watch these browsers in action. Now, down at the bottom, what you'll see is uh, a frame rate. Um, and you can see the hardware acceleration gets the Windows Phone frame rate up to 23 here. Android is going at 11, and the iPhone's at 2. And you see the page is loaded. There we go. Uh, Windows Phone 7's browser is finished rendering the page. The Android phone is almost there, and the iPhone is a little ways behind. Thank you. We're, we're really very appreciative uh, of the work that Dean and his team have done on the PC to introduce HTML5 standards-based native browsing with hardware acceleration. It's good for the PC. It's great for phone users, too. And we think it's going to really uh, make a lot of end users and a lot of you really happy this fall with that capability on the phones.